Hi Christopher, um, this is your next Sunday school lesson. It's Jesus Prays in a Garden. Um, so the Bible story is from Matthew 26, 36 through 50. It says, when Jesus lived on earth, he prayed to God the Father. Jesus prayed for the same reason we pray. He needed God's help. This Bible story is about Jesus praying about a hard job he had to do. Jesus knew that soon he would die so our sins could be forgiven. He knew that was God's plan, but Jesus also knew that dying on a cross would be very, very hard. He needed help. That night, Jesus did what he, what we should do when we feel upset. He prayed and asked God the Father for help. Jesus took several of his friends to pray in a garden called the Garden of Gethsemane. Do you ever ask someone to pray for you when you are sick or have a problem? It often helps to have people pray with us. Jesus wanted Peter, James, and John to pray with him that night. Stay and watch with me, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus went a little way from his three friends and fell to the ground to pray. Jesus prayed and told God the Father that he didn't want to die, but Jesus also prayed and told God the Father, Do what you want, not what I want. After Jesus prayed once, he went to see his friends. They were asleep. Jesus woke up his friends. Stay awake and pray so you won't sin, Jesus told his friends. Then Jesus went back and prayed again. Again he prayed, I pray that what you want will be done. Jesus wanted to obey God the Father, but he needed God's help. After Jesus prayed the second time, he went to see his friends. Guess what? They were asleep again. Jesus left his sleeping friends and went to pray a third time. A third time, Jesus prayed and asked God the Father to help him do what God the Father wanted him to do. After he prayed the third time, Jesus was ready. He woke up his sleepy friends for the last time. Jesus told his friends, it is time. Just then, men came to arrest and kill Jesus. Jesus didn't argue fight with them. He was ready. He was ready to do what God wanted him to do. He was ready to die. Jesus was ready to do this hard thing because he had prayed. When we have problems, we should be like Jesus. We should pray and ask God to help us. Just as God helped Jesus, God will help us when we pray. We can pray anytime and anywhere, and God will hear us. Let's pray now. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, be with each and one of, each one of us as we go through this tiring time in our lives. Dear Lord, I ask that you be with Christopher and you be with his family and keep them health and healthy and safe. Dear Lord, I ask that you keep your hand over my family, dear Lord, as we go through our tough times at this time. Dear Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. So, Christopher, here are the questions. Um, I'll wait a few seconds and then answer them for you since I can't ask you in person. So, question number one is Jesus did not pray very often. So, you give a thumbs up or a thumbs down for your answer. So, the statement was Jesus did not pray often. So, the answer is thumbs down. It was God's plan for Jesus to die so our sins could be forgiven. Thumbs up. It was hard for Jesus to die. Thumbs up. Jesus took six friends with him to pray. Yep. Thumbs down. Jesus prayed in a garden called Gethsemane. Thumbs up. Jesus asked his friends to pray with him. Thumbs up. Jesus didn't listen, or God didn't listen to Jesus' prayer. Thumbs down. When Jesus prayed, God helped him be strong when he was arrested. Thumbs up. Jesus fought when men came to arrest him. Oh, thumbs down. We can pray to God anytime. Thumbs up. So, in your handy workbook packet, I need you to get this page out. Activity 5, Lesson 5, I believe. Let me double check that. Yes, activity five. And you'll want to look for your sticker to put on the moon. And it's right up here.
here in this top corner. So get your sticker, put it on where your moon goes, and rub it hard. And what you'll want to do here is you need to have your mom help you and poke through your flowers. And then poke Jesus and your other flowers. And then you see this line across back here, you'll want to fold it, fold it down this way. and your flowers up so when you're done they're popped up and you have your verse it says watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation Matthew 26 41 and that is your memory verse so I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.